this summer has me all confused. I'm used to going to events, doing things with friends, dressing up and going out, but not so much this year. All the special events I would go to are gone. I'm barely seeing anyone and life's just chill, but I don't want to be in loungewear every day. So if you're anything like me, let's take a look and plan a capsule collection that's relaxed and easy and chill and just fun to wear for the summer. Hi, I'm Natasha Tuskovich, and I'm here to share my journey in the world of fashion. So like, subscribe, hit that bell, and join me every week for more fashion talk. So this was my initial plan. As you'll see, I made a few changes along the way. So to start, I picked a few light, easy to wear tops. I love these loose camisoles right now. They're just so flattering. <laughs> Black and white are simple. And then this very on-trend peach salmon. I added this gathered peasant style shirt as well to mix it up. For bottoms, I chose a mix of shorts and skirts. Denim shorts, of course, and then some black shorts. Although I almost went with white to keep more of a light theme, but at the end of the day, I love black too much, especially as the black looks amazing with the pink top. For skirts, I picked this long black skirt for a more dramatic touch. Then this ombre green and white skirt always looks so fresh and summery, I had to use it. I included one bright summer dress in the nice orange and a denim jacket that pairs perfectly. There's also a black cardigan to wear with the denim shorts and the black shorts. For shoes, I would normally pick black ballet flats and white sandals, but my white sandals broke this year and I haven't been leaving the house enough to really justify buying a new pair. How sad is that? So instead I went with black sandals and white sneakers. Can't go wrong with cute sneakers nowadays. I added in a pair of light and dark heels for more formal options to substitute in for the flats. I chose a classic black sandal and these lovely blush toned floral sandals. For purses, I added this super cute pink and clear crossbody bag. And for beach days or days when I need to fit the dog in, this large tote with orange flowers, which matches the orange dress perfectly. I bought that dress for $10 and I thought it was such a great deal and then it cost me so much more when I had to get the purse to match it. In terms of other accessories, I kept it simple. Black and blush toned skinny belts, some pink sunglasses, and of course for 2020, a matching face mask. Now here's some great ways to mix it all up.
For all these looks, I was using a nude tube top with a stick-on bra, although my poor millennial heart just doesn't understand why we can't use clear bra straps anymore. So you can see lots of different options. If you don't wear heels, don't use the heels. If you don't wear flats, don't use the flats. If you need a big purse, you've got one, a little purse, different options. So let me know what you think. Would you wear this capsule wardrobe? What would you change? Like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.